welcome back to my channel. Today is July 3rd, 2023, and I'm going on a little adventure. I'm going to a place called Black Oak Casino, and that's near the town of Sonora, California. It's actually in the town of Tuolumne, California, and uh, my wife is having some kind of get together today with her friends at my house. And they're going to make homemade pasta or homemade bread and some other things. And I don't want to be any part of that. So I'm taking off in my van cave. Kind of like man cave, but it's my van cave. I think every married guy or married man should have his own van cave. That way he can take off on his own and uh, do what he wants to do. Anyhow, I'm taking off in the van cave today. And I'm going to stay at the RV park at the casino. They have an RV park. It's going to be really hot today, even up there in the hills. So I'm going to spend most of my day in the casino. And uh, wish me luck. First stop, Moe's Oasis to get some gas. <laughs> My name is Doug. I'm a retired school teacher. I built that camper van out of an old service van. I would take you with me camping, fishing, going to the beach, going to baseball games. I'm going to teach you how to save some money. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Holiday 10. So I made it. I just got set up here. I'm at Black Oak Casino RV Park, and they have full hookups for uh, your RV or camper van. At the gate, I was asked whether or not this is actually a camper van with hookups. And I told them yes, as in the only thing I do have is electrical hookup, and uh, she waved me on through. So I don't know if there's a restriction with camper vans here or not. But she did ask me if it was actually a camper van. So I kind of set up, uh, I bought this at Walmart. It's a canopy pop-up. Normally I don't set up camp like this. I, my camp is always set up to where usually I could just take off at a moment's notice. And all I have out is a chair usually, but it's incredibly hot. There is a nice breeze today. Um, but I bought this canopy because I knew it was going to be hot and there's a lot of sun here. There's a little bit of shade, some trees, but not a lot of trees. The trees are, you know, young, young trees. They're not full grown or anything. So I uh, bought the canopy. I brought a box fan from my house to try to keep this a little bit cool in here. So they do have restrooms and showers. There's even a pool here. And um, I'm gonna be walking up to the restrooms here in a little while. I believe it's back up that way. And uh, I wanna wish everybody a happy 4th of July. Cheers. So I am going to go check out the restroom and shower area to show you guys. So 
but when I checked in, they didn't tell me there was a code for the restroom. Didn't even know. I should have known and I should have looked at my paperwork. So now I'm walking all the way back to my van, my campsite, to get the code for the restroom. They have a clubhouse and a pool here. It's kind of cool. Check that out a bit. There's also a trout pond here and a playground and a basketball court. And there's a restroom right over here. Laundry room inside the restroom facility. Restroom's not too bad. Like a hotel room. Showers here look fairly nice. Like a hotel room. Restrooms. Flag. It looks like there was a party here last night. Still some leftover kegs. Oh, well, it's got beer in there. I'm sure it's hot. Okay, so I walked from the campground all the way down here towards the casino. There's a trail here. And when I checked in the campsite, there was nothing explicit. No instructions, no directions, no courtesy as to how you can get back and forth from the campsite to the casino. And I stopped a Black Oak Casino bus on the way up there. And he had me call his number and he said that anytime I need a ride, I can call that. And that's good to know, but it would have been even better to know when I checked in. That way I wouldn't have had to walk all the way down here from the campground to the casino. I mean, I got a busted up knee and a bad hip and you know, it would have been nice to know that you could get a ride. So they got this little park right here, right by the casino. There's some squirrels and everything. This looks really nice. I didn't know this is here. I've stayed at the hotel before, which is through the trees over there. But they got this park right here. This is really, really nice. And then the casino is straight ahead this way. Okay, so I'm at the doors going into the casino. The hotel is right back that way. I just came walking from those stairs over there. That park goes up towards the campground. So I'm not going to make very many or very much video in the casino. Casinos kind of frown on that, but uh, I'm getting ready to go in. Wish me luck. So I'm in the casino. Won't be able to make much video because once again, you know, they frown on that. But I'm going to go try to play some blackjack and uh, see how I do. So it's about probably a good 70, maybe 65 degrees here in the casino, nice and cool. Outside, it's about 90 degrees, and I walked all the way from that campground. Bacon cheeseburger at the restaurant here at Black Oak Casino. It looks good. 
pretty good. back from the casino at my campsite and uh, the weather started to cool down a little bit it was about 100 degrees up here earlier today now it's probably low 80s maybe high 70s the sun has gone down it's kind of nice a lot of kids in this campground and uh, when you're a retired teacher a lot of times they don't really like to go to a place where there's a lot of kids uh, but it is what it is, you know, it's not too bad. So this is the full hookup. Got my electrical cord hooked up to my van. And it goes up under here. So if you're new to my channel, you may not have seen the video on how I installed the shore power, the electrical hookup for my van. And I made a video about that. Um, the way you can find that is you can go to the videos tab on my channel, if you subscribe to my channel, and you can find that video. It's called Van conversion shore power installation 110 volt DIY. Well, it's July 4th. I've left the casino. I've got my coffee. I'm on my way home. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to support the channel there is a link in the description where you can support the channel and uh, until next time everybody be kind to each other and uh, thanks for watching my video peace